Greetings people of YouTube, this is MKN Forever, Tony once again. And uh, I, I, I just uh, wanted to talk to you guys a little bit right here about a movie that I saw lately. And uh, this movie was, uh, I saw it um, last Monday, which is, today, today is Wednesday, so I saw it last Monday. And um, that movie is, drum roll please. True Grit, the remake, it's starring, uh, of course, Jeff, Jeff Bridges, uh, Matt Damon, and, uh, of course, uh, Josh Bowen, and uh, also a newcomer of this girl called uh, Haley Stayfield, I think that's how you pronounce her name, but, uh, anyway, so I saw it last uh, Monday, Anyway, let me just get into how I went there. Now, getting there, let me tell you right, right, right now, it was hell getting there. Okay. And uh, and see, the reason was the the bus was late. Okay, the bus was was late, and um, we weren't. We it actually got lost. The guy, the actual the driver, got lost, and uh, so instead of Instead of watching it at a 4:30 show, we actually saw it at the at a 7:10 show. So you know, we were late and we came in really late. We don't personally, I don't like staying up that late, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, so uh, eventually we got late. We 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 were late. Now that's one bad thing right there. We were late to the to the thing. The other thing is that we went to this theater that. I really don't like going to because it's overpriced. Usually I pay like 32 pesos, which is a little less than three bucks. Today I had, and, but that, but on Monday I had to pay uh, 42 pesos, which is a little more than, which is a little less than four dollars. Some people might say, but oh, what's four dollars? Yeah. But over here it's a, to me, well, I, I just really, call me cheap, but I mean, I just don't like going there. Plus you can't bring outside food. It's kind of, bugged me a little bit so and getting back home was terrible I mean the guy we had to take a taxi and uh, there's two different kinds of taxis in, in Tijuana there's uh, the taxi that charges you a buck to get from one point to another point and but there's another kind of taxi that's called a free taxi where sadly it doesn't live up to its name I mean it's you have Okay, from getting to a theater to the to our street, it charged us a hundred and eighty pesos, which is eighteen bucks. Uh, so I, I I got really pissed about that. But anyway, now get, let's get to the movie itself. I saw this movie after all this crap and hell had happened, and um, my. And this movie, I saw it, we sat down, and uh, right in the middle of the rows right there. So we got a pretty good picture of it. So, my thoughts about the film? I did not like the film. I freaking loved the film! <laughs> I mean, I loved the film. It was, the, the movie was awesome. Okay, I, I, I really loved it. Okay, just, not epic, mm, epic action. But I mean, it was really great, really satisfying, and, and it was to me it was actually worth all the hell we actually went through to get there. It was worth it. And so, anyway, let's get into the plot of the story and tell you uh, my thoughts about it. Now, the story is pretty much the same story as from the original movie. Now, the original movie, um, I love the original movie. I gotta tell you this, I love the movie, but. Maybe some people might call this a bold statement, but I love the remake better. I I mean that wholeheartedly, okay? I crap you not. I love the remake better. Because I mean the problem I had it I mean I love the I love the first movie, the one with John Wayne. He did an excellent job as uh as uh uh Rooster Cogburn. He did a great job as as him. But, I mean, the remake, Jeff Bridges, I mean, he just brought something new to the character, you know? I just really enjoyed it. And, um, anyway, I'll get into the plot. It's basically the same plot from the original story. Um, 
this girl uh, named Maggie Ross, uh, she just lost her father, uh, and her father was shot and killed by, uh, uh, let's see, Chaney, Tom Chaney, I think it's, his name was in the movie, he's, play, he's played by Josh Brolin, you know, Jonah Hex himself, Josh, Josh Brolin was in uh, No Country for Old Men, and, uh, you know, another, in another another little note about the movie, I've never really and never really saw a uh, a Coen Brothers movie. Now I've heard good stuff about uh, Big Lebowski, you know the one with Jeff Bridges and John Goodman. I've good I've heard good stuff about that one, and I've heard good stuff about their movies in general. But uh, I never like been compelled to see one. But you know after this I gotta check out some of their movies. You know, because, I mean, they, 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 they did a great job in this thing. So, anyway, um, the, the character, Tom Chaney, uh, killed, killed, uh, Maddie Ross, and uh, Maddie Ross's father. And, uh, Maddie Ross is played by, of course, this, this newcomer girl. It was, uh, Haley Stamen. And, Stamen, or something like that. But, uh. I mean, my brother, he was happy seeing it because I think he has a thing for it, but, I mean, that's, that's another thing, another thing for another video. But, uh, and, and, anyway, her father was killed, right? This girl's father was killed, and, uh, this guy also stole that her father's two, uh, gold pieces that he had for some reason. And, um... And basically, the story takes off when Mary Ross decides to con to uh, get some money, you know, sell some of her stuff, and uh, and uh, pay this marshal, I guess, uh, named uh, Rooster Cogburn, and played by pl played brilliantly by Jeff Bridges. You know, he did an excellent job. I mean, he he was funny, he was badass, he was I mean, he, it was all around great. You know, he did a great job in it. And, um, anyway, he, she pays off this guy, you know, to, uh, to, to, pretty much, as, as a bounty hunter, pretty much. You know, he, she gives him money, and she's got to bring in the, her father's killer, Don Cheney. And, um, you know, and, and the dialogue in the movie I really like. You know, it's, you got some iconic moments from the original film in the, in the, in the new movie. Like, for example, the, the part where where uh, we're in the and there's a part I believe where uh, at the end you know right, right that we saw in the original movie if you've seen the movie you know but if if you've seen the original movie there's a scene where John Wayne goes fill your hands you son of a bitch you know and um, and that same scene is in the movie. But it's done differently, and, and Jeff Bridges made it his own. You know, he, he made that line his own, and that's pretty. Cool. And that's really cool for an actor to do that. And I don't think a lot of actors can do that. Anyway, so getting back to the, to the plot, she Matty Ross pays uh, pays uh, Lucy Cogburn some money to uh, track down her father's killer. And uh, along the way, we meet this guy uh, uh, called Agent. Um, a Texas Ranger named LaBeouf. That's his last name. Can't remember his first name. But uh, Le LaBeef or LaBeouf. I don't know. I'm not sure. He, oh, he's he's played by Matt Damon, which uh, to me the character in there is in there for pretty much comic relief, in my opinion. <laughs> it was really it was really funny to see. This is one scene. Um, I'm not going to tell you what happens, but it's a funny scene. You have to see it to understand it. But uh. You know, they, I guess pretty much the story is pr is pretty basic, you know, pretty, the same to the first movie. I mean, if you saw the first movie, it, the story's the same, you know, so I don't need to tell you much about it. I mean, this girl gets her father, er, this girl's father dies, she pays a guy to, tr she pays a, a marshal to track him down and to kill her, but then they're, they team up, the, the two of them team up with, um, with uh, another a Texas Ranger and you know eventually you find him yada 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 you know and um, now I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna spoil the film if you saw the original movie there there's a lot of a little subtleties that are different from the movie from the original but I mean I 
I enjoyed the new changes. I like the changes. You know, I feel they they did a better job at at uh, portraying the story. Now it was written and directed by the Coen Brothers. So wow, I mean, you know, I mean, they did a good job in my opinion. So um, I mean, I'm not gonna spoil this movie for you, but uh, because I want you guys to check it out for yourself. If you haven't seen it, please see it, especially Effrey, because I know he had, he's got a he, he recently saw The Big Lebowski and he told me that he enjoyed it. So, FB, if you're listening, man, wherever you are, you know, uh, if you can see this movie, please see this movie. In fact, I, I, Eddie, today, he found a place where you can see it online, on Stageview. It's on Stageview, man. And if I can, I'm going to try to put a link a link to the to the Stageview page where you can see it because it's on Stageview you, and you have to see it. And this goes for everybody, okay? Everybody's seen this movie because this movie was great. Now, the ending... As for the ending, the the ending was sad. I will tell you that. It was sad, but at the same time, it was satisfying. And that's the way to do a sad ending, you know? I, I mean, I enjoyed the ending. It was it was a really good ending. In my opinion, better than the, than the first movie. You know, so... Uh, uh, you know, I mean, this movie is really good. You know, I mean, I don't know what else to say about this movie. I mean, just if you can't see it, watch it. In fact, you have no excuses. Okay, I get a, I, I, it's on stage view. Okay, if you have a computer, you can see it. If you're watching this, you can, you probably can see it. All right. So, I mean, definitely watch this movie. You, know, you won't regret it. You'll get your money, your money's worth. And uh, even if I lived over there, and um. And the U.S. and paid a hunt and paid 14 bucks for a ticket. You know, I'd, I'd still probably get my money's worth. You know, maybe I wouldn't buy any popcorn because I'm cheap. I'm a cheap ass loser or whatever. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I mean, I would get my money's worth. You know, so I mean, I'm just gonna try to wrap this video up and uh, so I gonna I gonna end this by saying that I mean, I like it. I like better than the original movie. You know, I like the remake a lot better. And uh, well, a little side note here: the uh, reason why I really like this movie is because of the of the new look that Matty Ross has. I like I like the new look a lot better than the original. Because in rec because back when I first saw it, I mean, oh, that's a cool cool look. But now I look back on it, and uh, <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh. Matty Ross. But that, the old Matty Ross, played by, oh man, I forget the actress's name, the actress's name. Uh, anyway, the, the, the Matty Ross from the original film, she had a haircut and resembled my, uh, every man's worst enemy. Just in pain in the ass, little piece of crap beaver. Okay, <laughs> Some people might think that, oh, you're being mean, but mate, I don't care, all right? I mean, that's how I feel, all right? It, it, it look, it reminds me of Justin Bieber. What can I say? And to me, Justin Bieber is the lowest of the low. Okay, it's like it's Hitler, then Satan, then Justin Bieber. <laughs> okay, that's to me. All right, maybe that's me being mean, but I mean seriously, that's me. All right, but uh, and I like the new look that Matty Ross has, played by. Uh, uh, Haley Stayfield, she did a great job, you know, I mean, she made the character her own, you know, and, uh, she made the character iconic, in my opinion, because the girl they got in the movie is forgettable, now that I look back on it, she's forgettable, but, I mean, Maddie Ross in the new movie, she did a great job, I mean, I'm not gonna forget that character, I mean, you know, it's, she made it iconic, so, let's see, I've gone for, let me see. I've gone on for 14 minutes now, so I'm just going to wrap this video up by saying the rating for the film is 10 out of 10. I mean, this is, I can physically find no problem with this movie. I mean, so if you can't see it, please watch it. You know, it's on stage, we'll watch it. Anyway, this is MKN Forever, signing off. Later.